In this module, we'll be covering how to split a data file. Splitting a data file will enable you to compare groups according to specific variables. So for instance, we have our male and our females. We're going to be able to compare between these two. The following research question states, is computer color preference different between genders? The way we're going to answer this is by splitting the data file by genders and looking at the comparison or the difference between the two. Ensure your part1.sav data file is open. If you are with us for the last module, we selected our female cases because we wanted to look at them in isolation. For this module, we want to compare and contrast both male and female. To accomplish this, we are going to need to go back and make sure we have both of the genders selected, opposed to just looking at the female cases. To include both genders, we first need to select the data menu and choose the select cases option. From the select cases dialog box, choose the all cases radio button. Then select the OK button. Minimize your output viewer window. Take note that none of the cases have those crosses over them which denotes both the males and females are currently selected. And any analysis you run from this point forward is going to include both genders. Splitting the file is going to break down whatever variable you choose into each of the groups, no matter how you input the data. The purpose of this is for a comparative analysis. When you get your output, it'll be arranged according to those groups. So you're going to get your frequency analysis differently for each one of your groups that say our females are going to be displayed in one area and our males will be displayed in another area. To split your file, once again select the data menu, then select split file. In the split file dialog box, we want to compare males and females responses. So let's select the Compare Groups radio button. The variable that we want to compare is our genders. Let's click on our gender variable in the variables list box. Then transfer the gender variable into the groups based on list box. And select your OK button. Minimize the output viewer window. When you jump back to your part one SAV data file, take note that the actual data file now is going to be arranged by gender. So first you'll see the females displayed as represented by one. And as you scroll down, you'll begin to start seeing the male cases, which are represented by a two. Let's scroll back to the top of our data file now. And now we're going to run a cross tabulation to determine if there is a computer color preference difference between the genders. And we're going to do this by comparing our male and female responses. Let's begin by clicking our analyze menu. Then mouse over descriptive statistics and select cross tabs. In the cross tab dialog box, you should already have the variables in place from our last two modules. So all we need to do to run analysis is click on the OK button. In the output viewer window, we want to scroll down so we can view our entire table of our cross analysis. So let's go ahead and scroll down until we can see the full computer owned by computer color cross tabulation matrix. As I was explaining earlier, you see how they actually separated the results by the two gender groups, male and female. So at the top, those first four lines of results are pertaining to the female respondents and the last lines are pertaining to the male respondents. In regards to the answer of our question, is computer color preference different between genders? 
just by looking at the table, looking at the gray column, we see that women have no response for that whatsoever. But the males actually do have preference. So just by that column alone, we can dictate that there is indeed computer color preference difference between our two genders.